Welcome back. From music to the education sector, and now we're going to the theatre to enjoy a stage play. Yes, and that's titled The Walking Stick, a theatre presentation that highlights the problem of drug and substance abuse in the society. Right. So, Walking Stick, you want to find out what that is all about. The revival of theatre culture in the country may appear slow, but it's steadily yielding the desired results as theatre lovers turned up to watch the play Walking Stick, a stage drama that shows the dysfunctionality that follows drug and substance abuse in the society. Liki Akiroa creates a popery of light, dance, music, choreography, and acting as his first production, Walking Stick, comes on stage. He put together a crew of well-talented actors who gave life to the story with their amazing acting, which instantly sends the message across. This is marijuana. Some call it hemp. After several rounds, you acquire a special odor. A perfume of bones cafe. A cancer cologne oozing from every crevice of your carcass. How did it all start? Only a buff, just for the taste. Say no to drugs. No is a simple word, but saying it is a major big decision you just have to take. Just a minute. This one is called Fatia and Shadow. Fatia and Shadow. Say it wrong. Hey, don't talk about it wrong. See it all. You see, you will start a fight up for money. Musicians out there should use the platform that they have to campaign and they should do it genuinely, not just playing, uh, paying lip service to it. Singers, you know, dancers, uh, cartoonists, um, you know, anybody who has the medium to, uh, to, to, to address the public about it should do it genuinely. <laughs> Truly, every abuki sells, without mentioning the name of the drug, they sell these things, they abuse it, they sell to our children. You find every yalagbu selling things, so um, we need to begin to take it seriously. People are now the, the, what they call slow, uh, all, kinds of, um, all kinds of experiments going on, and it's not healthy for our nation. This play chronicles the problem of drug and substance abuse in the society. It's a story of Professor Chiroma, played by theatre veteran Ayo Lijadu, a lecturer who abandoned his family in Lagos in pursuit of a career in the north. This move invariably destabilizes his family, especially his wife Fatima, played by actress Tinamba, who decided to send their twin children to live separately with their paternal and maternal grandparents while she struggles on her own. The dramatic consequence of this action had its effect on the family.
It's a very strong message. It has a very strong message against drug addiction and drug abuse. And it relates it to the family unit. Once the family unit is broken down, the, fa the father figure is missing, um, the children are left open to all kinds of um, pressures. Some of those pressures can lead to drug addiction, or many times they lead to drug addiction. <laughs> This is one production with a strong message and the belief it needs to reach outside the walls of the theatre because of its social significance. It is about just being um, responsible being responsible to yourself, to your society. Um, if you're an artist and you use drugs well, you need to get a shrink fast because it really does not add. This problem of drug abuse, they believe, is present in every social economic space and they are hoping the message and display will have far-reaching effects on the society. Well, nice one with a strong message. A strong message that should be heard. Yeah. Okay, this is where we end the show, and we thank you so much for being a part of it. Now, mm -hmm. let's do it again on Friday. Do not forget, you can watch this and past editions of the show yes, on channelstv.com. Find us on Twitter, and let's continue the conversation. Remember that you can always, always reach us with a number blinking on your screen. Thank you once again for watching. I'm Ogi Chikosi. I'm Anne Umawado. We will see you again on Friday. Certainly. Until then, take Bye -bye. care, and have a lovely week ahead.